Hey, fanboy nation. This is your pal Daffy Duck, and you're watching. You're watching. We're watching. You're watching. Fanboy. 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 A fanboy, etc. Fanboy nation. Dot. I assume. Uh, um. <laughs> Miles plans to bring the Fury jury this uh, t June 25th from the Mohegan Sun at Bellator 261 against Sydney Outlaw. Man, I think you guys are making up these last names uh, as you become pro fighters, you know. So what's going on there? Miles Jury, how are you today, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. How are you? Dude, I can't complain. You're in San Diego by the beach. I'm in Huntington Beach by the beach. You know, life's pretty good, and uh, looking at you, you're on point. You're ready to make weight and everything next week. Yeah, man, San Diego, beautiful. One of the best places in the whole world. So blessed uh, and truly grateful to be able to, to train here for my fight. Dude, I'm serious. Like, you and Sydney, I mean, Sydney's last name's Outlaw. Yours is Jury. Like, are you guys making these names up like pro wrestlers at this point? This is like the uh, it's like an old western uh, battle here, dude. Something uh, some gunslinger versus uh, versus the jury, the judge, man, executioner. Yeah. So, yeah. Nah, it's, it's hey, he's got a, a unique name. I got a unique name. So, right. Well, so long as it's not a hung jury and left in the hands of the judges this time. There we go. <laughs> well, dude, you're you won your last two fights against. Uh, Real quick, uh, Brandon Gritz and Georgie Karkarian. And I can't pronounce it right, so Georgie, get, don't get mad at me. I got these Invisalign, so I'm slurring everything. Yeah, uh, He's one and one, so you guys still have something to prove, to not only to yourselves, but to each other. What's it like going into this fight at this point, being you know, two for five in your last fights and him one and one in his last one? You know, for me, man, it's uh, the only fight that really matters is the one in front of you. So I'm, uh, I'm coming in prepared, been training hard. Uh, another, another good competitor to go compete against. And uh, I'm just looking to go out there, take what's mine uh, in my zone, man, focus. So I, I'm going to have a great night. Well, you're 19 and five. He's uh, 15 and four. So your records are relatively close. Um, you know, you guys weigh the same. You have the the height advantage, and he's got a one inch reach advantage. But when you lean over, it doesn't matter at that point. Um, you know, jujitsu, MMA, everything else is, is coming to point. When you get ready for a fight at this point, and your diet diet's there, the weight cuts there. You're only about maybe five ten pounds from where you need to be. How much more relaxing is it than realizing that you're still fifteen pounds off? Uh, you know, weight cut and uh, and everything, it's just part of the game, man. I, I've been doing this since I was, I was you know, in high school. So uh, it, it's nothing new to me. I'm a seasoned veteran here. And, uh, you know, to to me, I've been preparing. I've been dieting and, and getting ready to weigh in. That's half the battle. And then go out there and perform. That's the other half. So, uh, yeah, I'm ready to rock. Nice. I talked to Daniel Veitchel earlier uh, today. And he was, we, met, we were talking about audiences and crowds coming back. And this is, you know, California, we got rid of the mask on Tuesday. Thursday, they got rid of the mask for um, employees, which I don't know why they didn't do everything just on Monday or the Monday after. Um, what's it like going from being in an enclosed area where it's almost like an old school gym fight to prove who's better to now having the crowds back and hearing the cheers or, or the jeers or whatever else that comes with it? Uh, you know, I was getting used to having the no crowds. Uh, you know, I, I can perform there and I can perform with the crowds. Uh, so, you know, I know there'll be some fans at this one. So I'm going to lean into it, man. Take that energy and uh, just go out there and do my thing. So now how do we convince Scott Coker to get us a couple of fights in San Diego, uh, you know, city proper? You got to hit him up, man. You got to say, hey, Scotty, give me those uh, those tickets. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is we might hit the beach uh, just before the, the fights and almost forget our spot. But, you know, we can't do that. It's Bellator. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you train out of Alliance. It's your home gym at this point. You know, it, it's definitely not Michigan with, with the uh, frozen tundra that you came from. Uh, how has this camp been different than the last two? Because, again, you know, crowds are coming back. It's more it's more open. You know, you could possibly have family at this one if they so desire to fly out. You know, just the whole mentality, how does it, it switch from, from your previous fight to this one? 
Uh, my mentality doesn't change, man. Staying hungry, staying motivated. And, uh, you know, as far as the, the training, it's, it's the same thing. You know, the, the miles need to be put in, uh, the sparring rounds need to be done pad work uh you know there's a certain pain that you got to go through to to get ready for a fight and that's what i've done for this one so uh you know thank god i'm here i'm healthy knock on wood everything's good you know good to go and uh we got ourselves a a, a fight come next week man and i can't wait to perform i dig it you know i've never asked anyone this one this question before because it is at the mohegan sun there's also a casino there I'm always scared someone's going to win the purse and celebrate a little too hard and then just leave it all at the blackjack table. That's a possibility, man. Maybe uh, somebody might do that, but I'm going to probably, uh, I'm going to get, get my money and, uh, and, and keep it, man. Buy some real estate. <laughs> well, that's your big thing, dude. Real estate, real estate investment. You know, you have a YouTube channel based upon that. How did the real estate thing come in with the fighting aspect? Because obviously there's no retirement plan for, for MMA. You know, it's not like you get a pension or a 401k at the end of the day. So, like, where did the idea of real estate come in from there? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, you know, coming from a fighter, I, I, I didn't have no inheritance. I, I don't have no degree to fall back on. I, I didn't get an NFL, you know, million dollar, you know, uh, contract bonus, anything like that. So I, uh, I just kind of had to, to take responsibility for, you know, finance finances and, I started learning back in 2012, just studying books, YouTube videos, and, and I decided to buy my first house and, and just rent it out while, you know, I was training out of, out of town. So uh, that, that kind of is how I got started, man. I, uh, I just redid that over and over again. And, and the goal for me is just when I'm done fighting is to have enough money coming in every month to, uh, to have a great lifestyle and have freedom to, to do what I want. And on top of that, you know, they can't build more land. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I feel like, uh, you know, for when it comes to investing, everybody's got their own, you know, ways of doing stuff. But uh, for me, I think real estate fits right into what I'm looking for. You know, it's got the cash flow. I control it. You know, I, I feel like, as you can see nowadays, it's very lucrative, you know, and uh, definitely they're, you know, they're not building any more land, like you said. Well, keep doing what you're doing, man, because you're doing something right. Financially, you're taking care of yourself. Physically, you're taking care of your health. You got Outlaw coming up uh, on the twenty on the 25th at Mohegan Sun. Prelims are going to be on YouTube. The fight's going to be on Showtime. You know, having that connection to Showtime fights has got to feel something special, too, because of all the Showtime boxing that we grew up watching and everything else. Like, it always felt special when something was on Showtime. And now to be a part of that tradition with Showtime fights, you know, what does that mean for you as, as a fighter, knowing the legacy going back, you know, pre Mike Tyson days? Yeah, man, for me, you know, as a fighter, I'm, I'm like, I'll, I fight bars, I'll fight, you know, wherever, but from a, from like a person and just like a fan, I, I'm, I'm excited to be able to say, you know, I've been on Showtime. I mean, I fought, uh, fought on pay-per-views, Fox, uh, the old Spike TV, Paramount, ESPN stuff. So, I mean, I, I fought everywhere, but now I can actually uh, get out there and fight on Showtime and, and cross it off the list. So I'm a fan of Showtime. So let, let's get it. Hey, man, it's going to be a good time. I know June 25th is going to be exciting for all of us. Uh, let's hype up the fight. Let's pull that pro wrestler out of you, man. What's the, what are we expecting on the 25th? <laughs> Tune in, man. Enjoy the show. You, you got to sell a little harder than that, bro. <laughs> hey my skills do the the silent i love it man you silent assassin mentality right there miles fury thank you or miles jury thank you so much nicknames the fury thank you know it's been it's you been call a me fury sorry right. right. you know i'll be in san diego next month man we'll get together and uh, go to uh, Re uh, uh taqueria revolucion over in chula vista let's do it man let me I'm know not, dude i'm not even on on their sponsor list but i love their food that much that i gotta give them a shout out there we go, man. It'll be after the fight, too, so I'll be able to be uh, eating some some good food. For sure, man. Uh, where can we find you on social media so we can connect with you? Uh, just Fury Jury, usually all, all around. Um, yeah, man. I'm YouTube. Just uh, type, type in Miles Jury. Perfect. I'm coming to you for real estate advice on top of this after the fights are done. There you go. Let me know. All right, Miles My, Fury Jury, June 25th, Mohegan Sun, Showtime uh, Television and YouTube for the prelims. 
Good luck to you. Can't wait to see you in person. Thanks, my man. I appreciate it. Absolutely.